Have you ever asked yourself, what is the one best diet of them all for you? So what is the ideal, optimal, perfect diet for you? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. And before we go there, click the subscribe button below if you haven't already, because on this channel, I'm gonna show you and teach you how to be one of those 1% entrepreneurs that are not only successful, but also have a great looking, strong, healthy, high performing body that goes along with your business success. What's up everybody? This is Coach Amir from sevenfigurebody.com. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite topics, which is what's the best diet out there? So one optimal, perfect, ideal, best diet for you. And of course, the answer, as you can probably uh, guess, is there is no one perfect diet for everybody, but there certainly is an optimal, ideal diet for you. So this is the reason why for the last, you know, 14 years, I've had 1150 entrepreneurs who I helped transform and not one of them had the same exact diet. Not one person ever had the same diet. Why? because there's so many things that make you truly unique. And I don't just say that, it truly is like that. You know, out of seven and a half billion people in the world, not, there are no two people in the world that have the exact same, uh, you know, set of parameters, if you will, that may, or, or, you know, factors that make them uh, the same. They're all different. So for example, your body fat percentage, activity level, the amount of muscle you have, gender, age, preferences, habits, genes, your goals, the, you know, how much muscle you have, maybe you have a lot of muscle, not a lot of muscle, how much muscle potential you have. All of these things make it so that you have the exact same, uh, or rather the exact unique set of all these parameters that make you unique. So therefore, there are not two people that can ever have the same diet. Now, when it comes to customizing the diet, obviously what I'm saying is this is the reason why mass diets do not work for vast, vast, vast majority of people, something like 95 to 99% of the people fail on a mass diet. Why? Because somebody comes and says, here's a mass diet, let's try to put you know, 5 million people or however many millions of people into it. It's simply not gonna work for a mass, vast majority of them. Why? Because all of these you know, rules of that box called whatever X diet, simply don't fit what over here, what you want and need. Therefore, in my approach of working with clients, I don't say, here's the perfect diet and I cram all of my clients into it, we actually turn it around and say, here's my client and here's this individual and all things that are unique for them and then we, we basically customize every single thing from the diet to exercise to the whole lifestyle system to fit them. That's why it works and the opposite of that is why all the mass diets do not work and fail. And by the way, if you'd like to find out how I customize all of this for my clients and I take the exact same process of three-step process to transform any entrepreneur from wherever you are right now to looking like a fitness model, check out the uh, description below this video. There is a completely free uh, video that shows you the exact three steps that you can take yourself to go to you know, whatever level of leanness you want. You wanna look like a fitness model, you can. You wanna build the maximum muscle you, can, you want, you can. Check out that video, it's gonna show you how to do that. So back to the ideal diet. So a couple of the things that make the diet perfect for you are number one, you are much more likely to maintain the meal frequency that you've had for a long time. So what does that mean? If you used to for the last 20, 30, 50 years to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, best thing to do is to create the fewest possible number of changes while still getting the results you want. Therefore, keep the meal frequency that you enjoy. So, you know, for example, let's say you've had three meals per you know, day for the last 30 years, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Fasting zealot comes in and says, no, 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 horrible idea to have breakfast, horrible idea to have lunch. You just need to eat between like 5 p.m. and midnight, and we're gonna cram all of your meals there. Imagine all of the systems in your body that are now expecting food at 8 a.m., at 1 p.m., at all the other times when you're used to be eating, and now you can't have it just because some, you know, whatever zealot said that you can't. This is very unlikely to work. On the other hand, it's much more likely to work something that you've been doing for a long time. Also, just make, so number one thing is make the fewest possible changes to your already, you know, uh, preset and built habits that you have. So don't change anything that you don't need to change, keep it. So meal frequency, number one thing that you should keep. Uh, another thing, if you really love and enjoy eating fats, it's much better to have a higher fat diet. Of course, you know, subsequently, you're going to have to probably reduce your carbs a little bit because you can't have both high fat and high carb diet because that's what an average person has. An average person is overweight. 
Hint, hint, why? Because they're overeating calories and they're actually, studies have shown that nobody has enough protein, remember that. Almost nobody eating normally as they will has enough protein. They're all under eating protein. On the other hand, we're overeating total calories, which is why everybody's overweight. What are we overeating, fats or carbs? Both, we're overeating both carbs and fats. So obviously, number one thing we need to do is control your calories, number one. Number two, eat more protein. These are the two things that are gonna give you the results that you want. Probably 80 to 90% of the weight loss results you want will come from just two things. Control your calories, number one, and eat more protein, number two, okay? I have a bunch of videos, you can click here somewhere to see a video about exactly how much protein you should be eating. This is the number one biggest thing you can do once you have controlled your total calories, okay? Um, three, one other thing that you can do that's going to help you probably more than anything is including more vegetables. You already know this, but also remember that nobody eats enough vegetables, so you should, certainly should be eating more. And then the third thing that I can share with you is, remember, the amount of carbs that you consume should be tied to two things. Short term, the number of carbs or, or amount of carbs you eat per day should be tied to your activity levels. Why? Because carbs are pretty much nothing more than an energy source for the body. Protein and fats are essential for life. We need them to live. Whether you exercise or not, you need protein. Whether you exercise or not, whether you're active or not, you need fats to live. These are essential for life. Carbs are not essential for life, meaning you can not have a gram of carbs for the rest of your life, you will still survive. You won't thrive, certainly, but you will survive. Therefore, look at carbs basically as an energy source and certainly a happiness source. I know, I know, okay. But short term, so you, when it comes to your carb intake, short term, you should be looking at carbs as how much activity am I doing? That's how much carbs I should have. More activity, more carbs. Less activity, less carbs, okay? And that's short term. Long term, the thing that determines how many carbs you can have without any issues is leanness level. The leaner you get, the more carbs you should have and vice versa. Why? Simply because the more overweight somebody gets, their ability to handle carbs, which is known as carb tolerance, gets worse. This is why somebody who's, for example, morbidly obese, they already have insulin resistance. Basically, their body's been producing insulin a lot and essentially it stopped working because the cells became resistant to the effects of insulin. So the insulin is probably still being produced, but it can be active, it can be effective. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. As you lose weight, this system basically corrects itself and your carb tolerance improves. You're able to better control and manage your carbs. Therefore, short-term activity levels, more active you are, more carbs you can have. Long-term, the leaner you get, the less you know, body fat you have, the better your carb tolerance is and more carbs you can have. So those are a couple of things you can do to kind of start thinking about how to come up with your perfect diet. And of course, if you want to, actually have me customize all of this for you. So three, four months from today, maybe two, maybe five, depending on how much body fat you have to lose, you can get in absolute best shape of your life. In that case, check out that video that I showed, uh, that I mentioned earlier, because it's gonna show you the three steps that I actually take every client through. And if that makes sense, you can click the button there, set up a call, we can chat about, uh, you know, to see if we are a good match to actually work together. And after, if we do, and all that works out, and we are a match, three to four months from now, you're absolutely gonna be in the best shape of your life. I guarantee you that. That's why my coaching is called Guaranteed Ripped, okay? Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the like button below. Also hit that notification bell. So every time we come up with new videos, you're gonna get this information and it's going to arm you with the proper science-based and real world proven knowledge to actually do it, whether you wanna do it yourself or with our help, it doesn't matter, but you're gonna know exactly what to do. And finally, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, Please click the subscribe the channel below because this channel, my goal with this channel is to come up with a, or build a group of successful entrepreneurs and basically make this the most useful, actionable, uh, effective uh, things that I share in this channel for successful entrepreneurs. This is what I felt was missing. That's the reason why I'm doing all this because entrepreneurship is the greatest thing in the world. We push this world <laughs> forward and make everything that works in this world better because that's what we entrepreneurs do. We come up with new ideas, change the world for the better. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you next time.